All right, turtled the F Bissell suction cleaner to check out the oil cups. They are quite robust. Notice that compared to the size of my hand. Mother of God, is that dead whale? Anyway, right here, there should be a rubber gasket, but it's right there. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if there was ever felt in there or not. Felt? Old grease. I don't know. Here's the uh, other oil cap, and it does have the rubber gasket on it. Like I said, the first one is just still in place. But uh, anyway, going to put some oil to it. It turns right now. Just a little scrapey, understandably. Yeah, not a pretty sound. Anywho. Okay, I scraped out the uh, old aminal out of the end of the cap. I didn't know if this thing was maybe hollowed out, but nope, just slightly dished. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, the items instead of looking at the video. Yeah, get over it. Anyway, notice the wick difference. This thing is huge compared to this one. But, well, you have different places on the motor. This one doesn't have that far to go to get to the shaft, and that one does. And I probably can't get the camera light and the flashlight and other lights all lined up. But that thing is nasty. There's all kinds of stuff in there. I was just going to pour some oil in. Yeah, that's just not working. I was going to pour some oil in. And, uh, oh, there we go. The magic angle. Pour some oil in so it could get to the shaft. And, well, there's just crap all in there. Uh, I don't think I have any sort of a bottle brush for that, which really kind of sucks. I wish I did now. I turn the thing upside down and bottle brush it. This one's nice and clean. Well, relatively speaking. You can see the uh, chrome of the shaft there, which, I mean, even the exposed shaft here is chrome. I took the reverse threaded cap off of it and this horribly rusty washer. I have no idea why there's this much room on here unless there was uh, you know various pulleys you could put on there. I'd seen a drawing of a uh, wow it's like a, a triple pulley that could go on there so maybe that's it. So anyhow clean these up a little um, get some oil in there and figure out how to wire this thing. Alright the good luck continues not only did the set screw come out the caster came out, spiffy little cast iron casters, and this bolt came out that the wheel will go on to. Uh, there are only two on this. I should be able to get replacements if nothing else get them made. I'm being attacked. Kitty, what's up? Anyway, um, the other caster, some of these I believe are missing. Well, actually, I think one was in multiple, multiple, multiple pieces. Uh, one of the, that was three multiples one of these uh, little ball bearings but there are enough there for it to um, still be a functional caster I went ahead and put it back into place yeah, it's feeling a little crunchy there anyway it removed also oh, uh, it's getting a little better anyway yeah you'll see oil hither and yawn on this thing now oh while we're here check this out look at those blades it's like having a turbo bolted to a motor, not a engine. I hate it when people call engines motors, but anyway. Uh, so far, I've been getting very lucky. Uh, the only downsides, the wheels are gone. Of these bolts, two are uh, gone. But hey, I have two of them, so I still consider that lucky. A couple little ball bearings here, but I think it's good enough to be functional. And um, I have no freaking clue how to wire this thing. Oh well. 